the true test of a person's character is not what they accomplish when everything is going well, but how they respond when faced with adversity. That quote is one I've lived by throughout my life and career. Whenever I've been knocked down, whenever I've faced setbacks or obstacles, I've reminded myself of those words. Because the path to achieving our biggest goals is never a straight line. It's filled with twists and turns, ups and downs, victories and defeats. The question is, are you ready to confront that path head head on? Are you ready to stare adversity in the face and keep pushing forward no matter what? I'll be honest with you, achieving big goals isn't easy. If it was, everyone would do it. It requires an incredible amount of focus, discipline, and perseverance. Along the way, you'll face self-doubt, criticism from others, and countless distractions trying to pull you off course. The temptation to give up or settle for something less will be immense. But I'm here to tell you that it's all worth it. That feeling of accomplishment, of knowing you overcame every hurdle and achieved something monumental, there's nothing else like it in this world. It's a high that money can't buy and that no one can ever take away from you. I want you to think back to a time in your life when you set a difficult goal for yourself and against all odds, you achieved it. Maybe it was getting into your dream college or landing your first big job. Maybe it was running a marathon or starting your own business. Whatever it was, I want you to remember that feeling of exhilaration of proving to yourself and the world that you were capable of something extraordinary. That's the feeling I'm talking about. That's what lies on the other side of achieving your biggest goals. But how do you get there? How do you muster the strength and determination to keep going when the road gets tough? It starts with absolute clarity about what you want to achieve. I'm not talking about some vague idea like I want to be successful or I want to make a lot of money. Those are destinations without a map. No, you need to get hyper-specific. Write down your goal in excruciatingly precise detail. What does it look like? What does it feel like? What kind of life will you be living when you achieve it? Once you have that clarity, you need to get brutally honest with yourself about what it's going to take to get there. What skills do you need to develop? What habits do you need to build or break? What sacrifices are you going to have to make? This is where most people falter. They underestimate the level of commitment required or their unwilling to make the necessary trade-offs. But here's the harsh truth. If you want to achieve something great, you can't keep living the same way you are now. Something has to change. So take a long, hard look in the mirror and ask yourself, am I truly willing to do what it takes? Because if the answer is no, that's okay. At least you'll have saved yourself a lot of time and effort chasing something you didn't really want. But if the answer is yes, then it's time to get to work. One of the most important things you'll need is an unwavering belief in yourself. Doubt and negative self-talk are dream killers. You have to develop an unshakable confidence in your ability to achieve your goal no matter what obstacles arise. This doesn't mean being arrogant or delusional. It means having a deep, visceral understanding of your own strength, resilience, and capabilities. It means knowing that you have the power to adapt, to learn, to grow, and to overcome any challenge that comes your way. Remember, you are the sum of every obstacle you've overcome in your life up to this point. Every setback, every failure, every time you've been knocked down and gotten back up, those experiences have forged you into the person you are today. They've given you the strength and wisdom. You need to tackle your biggest goal. Of course, having belief in yourself is one thing. Putting in the sustained effort required to achieve your goal is another. This is where discipline and consistency become absolutely crucial. You've heard the saying, Rome wasn't built in a day. Well, neither are life's biggest accomplishments. They're constructed brick by brick, day by day, through small, consistent actions repeated over and over again. It's easy to get excited and work really hard for a week or two. The true challenge is maintaining that level of effort and focus for months and years on end. That's why it's so important to build habits and routines that support your goal. Maybe it's waking up an hour earlier each day to work on your craft. Maybe it's meal prepping on Sundays to ensure you're eating a diet that fuels your body and mind. Maybe it's scheduling regular check-ins with an accountability partner to keep you on track. Whatever it is, make those habits non-negotiable. Treat them with the same level of importance as brushing your teeth or going to work because it's those small, consistent actions that will compound over time and ultimately lead you to your destination. Across even with belief, discipline, and consistent effort, there will still be times when you feel like giving up. 
times when the goal seems too far away, the obstacles too daunting, and the sacrifice is too great. This is when you'll need to call upon your deepest reserves of resilience and perseverance. Because the reality is, if achieving your biggest goals was easy, everyone would do it. It's meant to be hard. It's meant to test you, to push you to your limits, and to reveal just how badly you truly want it. In those moments of doubt and despair, remind yourself of why you started this journey in the first place. What was the driving force, the burning desire that set you on this path? Was it to provide a better life for your family? To leave a lasting impact on the world? To prove to yourself that you were capable of something extraordinary? Whatever it was, hold on to that reason like a lifeline. Let it fuel you, inspire you, and propel you forward one step at a time. And when you find yourself getting bogged down in the details or losing sight of the bigger picture, take a step back and remind yourself of how far you've already come. Look at the progress you've made, the obstacles you've already overcome, and use that as proof of your ability to keep going. Because the truth is, every single person who has ever achieved something great has faced setbacks, doubts, and moments of overwhelming adversity. The difference between them and those who gave up is that they refused to let those challenges define their journey. They understood that adversity is inevitable on the path to greatness. It's not a sign that you're on the wrong track. It's a sign that you're on the right one. Because if it was easy, it wouldn't be worth achieving in the first place. So when those moments of doubt and despair come, and they will come, don't run from them. Embrace them, let them temper you, strengthen you, and forge you into the person you need to become to achieve your biggest goals. And remember this, Yurtie, you are never alone on this journey. Look around you. There are others who are striving for greatness just like you. Find them. Surround yourself with them, learn from them, support them, and let them support you. Because there's an incredible power in community in surrounding yourself with people who share your drive, your ambition, and your unwavering commitment to achieving something extraordinary. These people will become your allies, your cheerleaders, and your sources of inspiration. When the road gets tough, they'll pick you up when you fall, and you'll do the same for them. Together, you'll forge an unbreakable bond. Uh, a shared experience that will forever unite you. And when you finally achieve that monumental goal you've been striving for, when you stand atop that mountain you've been climbing for so long, there's no better feeling than being able to turn to those people who have been with you every step of the way and say, we did it, we achieved the impossible. Because at the end of the day, that's what this is all about. It's not just about achieving your own goals, it's about inspiring others to achieve theirs. It's about setting an example of what's possible when you refuse to give up, when you stare adversity in the face and keep pushing forward no matter what. So let me ask you again, are you ready to achieve your biggest goals? Are you ready to embark on a journey that will test you in ways you can't even imagine, but that will ultimately lead you to a level of fulfillment and accomplishment that few people ever experience? If the answer is yes, then it's time to get started. Define your goal with absolute clarity. Get honest about what it's going to take to achieve it. Cultivate an unwavering belief in yourself. Build habits and routines that support your efforts. Surround yourself with a community of like-minded people who will lift you up when you falter. And when the doubts and setbacks come, and they will come, don't let them derail you. Let them motivate you. Let them remind you of why you started this journey in the first place, and let them fuel your determination to keep going. Because the path to greatness is never easy, but it's always worth it. The rewards that await you on the other side, the sense of accomplishment, the personal growth, the lasting impact you'll have on the world, they're beyond anything you can imagine right now. So take that first step. Commit yourself fully to this journey and never, ever give up. Because when you achieve that biggest goal, when you stand atop that mountaintop and look out at the world you've conquered, there's no feeling like it. And it will all have been worth it. The distance between your dreams and reality is determined by the size of the actions you take every single day. Small, consistent steps are what bridge that gap and propel you towards achieving your biggest goals. I'll never forget the story of the man who dreamed of moving a massive boulder from one end of his property to the other. This boulder was so large that even trying to push it seemed like a futile effort. But this man was determined. Each morning, he went out to the boulder and gave it one firm shove with all his might. At first, the boulder didn't budge at all. 
days turned into weeks and the boulder appeared completely unmoved. But the man persisted, never missing a day of pushing that rock. Then one morning, almost a year into his efforts, the boulder finally shifted ever so slightly. The man could hardly believe his eyes. All those tiny pushes had slowly built up enough cumulative force to overcome the boulder's inertia. From that day on, the boulder began inching across the man's land at a steadier pace, one firm shove at a time, every single day without fail. Until at last, over two years after he had started, the man was able to push the boulder to its intended destination. Achieving your biggest goals is a lot like moving that boulder. The objective can seem so massive, so daunting, that putting in effort day after day with no visible results can feel like a waste of time. But those tiny actions, those daily pushes, are adding up. Slowly but surely, you're making progress. The trap that ensnares most people is expecting overnight transformation. They put in a burst of enthusiastic effort, don't see their circumstances immediately change, and then give up disillusioned. But that's now how real lasting change happens. Transformation takes time. It's slow, arduous, and often incredibly boring. There's no blinding flash of light or zap of inspiration that instantly remakes you into the person you aspire to become. It's an incremental process of chipping away at your bad habits, developing new skills, and stringing together enough positive actions to rewrite your identity. Just like pushing that boulder, there will be days when your efforts seem to produce zero results. You'll question whether you're even making any progress at all. That's the point when most people throw in the towel and resign themselves to their current circumstances. But the ones who go on to achieve their biggest goals, they keep pushing. They understand that consistent effort, sustained over a long enough period, always yields results. It's not the dramatic, life-altering kind of change you see in the movies. It's a slow, gradual progression towards the person you aspire to be. Every single push of that boulder was making a difference, even when the human eye couldn't perceive it. Every positive action you take today is nudging you incrementally closer to your vision, even when your circumstances seem stubbornly unchanged. That's why giving up can be so devastating, because it means surrendering all the progress you've fought so hard to make, simply because you couldn't sustain your efforts long enough to manifest visible results. It's reverting all the way back to the starting line when the finish line was just over the horizon. So if you find yourself in those moments of doubt and despair, thinking that your efforts don't seem to be paying off, let the story of the boulder remind you that progress is always being made. You just have to stay the course and trust the process. Brick by brick, push by push, step by step. That's how the biggest goals are achieved. Not through overnight epiphanies or random strokes of luck, but through the relentless accumulation of simple daily efforts. Of course, even with that understanding, sustaining motivation over the long haul is one of the biggest challenges you'll face on your journey. There will be times when you hit a plateau and your progress stalls out. Times when obstacles arise that seem insurmountable. Times when the sacrifices you're making start to weigh heavily on you. In those moments, it's crucial to reconnect with your why, the deep burning reasons that first sparked your pursuit of this goal. Because when your motivation is intrinsic, deeply rooted in your values and what matters most to you, it becomes far more resilient to the ups and downs of the journey. Perhaps your biggest goal is to build a business that allows you to spend more time with your family and secure their financial future. Whenever you feel your resolve wavering, visualize your loved ones and remind yourself why achieving this dream is so important. Or maybe your burning ambition is to revolutionize an industry and leave a lasting positive impact on the world. Let that vision of creating transformative change rekindle your energy and commitment. Your why is the North Star that will guide you through the darkest, most disorienting moments of adversity. It's the unshakable foundation upon which you'll lean when absolutely everything else seems uncertain. Nourish it, fortify it, and let it be the driving force that propels you forward no matter what obstacles arise. Because obstacles will come. In fact, you can be certain of it. The path to achieving your biggest goals would not be worthy of those goals if it was lined with rose petals and completely devoid of resistance. No, the road you're traveling is meant to be arduous to frequently test the limits of your fortitude and force you to summon depths of strength, resilience, and perseverance you never knew you possessed. These challenges are not cosmic injustices being cruelly inflicted upon you. They are profound opportunities for growth 
sent to mold you into the person you need to become to handle the magnitude of the success you're pursuing. Just as human muscles must be continually stressed through resistance training to grow stronger, so too must your character, your determination, and your commitment be forged through the white-hot crucible of adversity. The people who go on to achieve iconic feats of success are quite simply those who refuse to let obstacles and setbacks derail them from their quest. Their perseverance was more powerful than any external resistance. Take Winston Churchill, for instance. Historians estimate that during World War II, German bombers conducted over 300 air raids targeting London, killing over 20,000 civilians. In the midst of this brutal onslaught, at the height of Britain's darkest hour, Churchill's response was to courageously proclaim we shall go on to the end. We shall fight in France, we shall fight on the seas and oceans, we shall fight with growing confidence and growing strength in the air. In the face of devastation that would have caused most leaders to capitulate, Churchill's perseverance only intensified. His resiliency inspired a battered nation to forge onward and ultimately emerge victorious. That's the power of an unwavering refusal to be derailed from your aims, no matter how daunting the resistance. With that level of perseverance, even seeming impossibilities become just another obstacle to overcome. So when you find yourself confronted with setbacks, profits vanishing, funding drying up, partners bailing, public criticism raining down, whatever shape the adversity takes, pull from the same reservoir of determination that drove Churchill and countless others to succeed against all odds. Let those challenges refine you, sharpen you, make you more focused and more hungry than ever before. Because like a forest after a wildfire has cleared out all the dead underbrush, the fertile ashes of adversity overcome create fertile ground for you to rise up stronger, wiser, and more capable than you ever imagined. Of course, transforming adversity into advantage like that is easier said than done. Our instinctive reaction when met with resistance is typically to avoid it to seek out the path of least resistance and potentially abandon our goals.